In 1946, the Reverend Wilbert Audrey would create a series of children's books where the standout character was a little blue steam engine. By 1979, this had grown into a television series famously narrated by Ringo Starr. And children of all ages are still enjoying the adventures of Thomas the Tank Engine today. And so, despite the rain, families turned out to see Thomas and his friends as they rode the rails of the Watercrest Line. The weather may have been dismal, but that didn't seem to stop the fun on the Watercrest Line, as there was a very special visitor who came to ride the rails of the Midhance Railway. Thomas uh, is, is our really useful engine, and sometimes he's just a little bit naughty, so sometimes I have to just waggle my finger at him. And then, and then he's very good, isn't he? Very good, usually. Very good, Same as yes. me. Yeah, well, we all share driving Thomas, so we'll drive this for an hour or so and then uh, other crews will take over during the day. Uh, Thomas is a J94 austerity tank in disguise and it's a, it's a wartime design that would be thrown away at the end of the war and uh, they carried on making them after the war. This is a post-war example and it's been reclad to look like Thomas. So it looks like the one in the book, so it's quite representative and uh, we're very pleased to have it. We run it twice a year at Thomas events it does travel all around the world, well not around the world, it goes to Europe. So last year we took it to Belgium and Germany. Well he is misbehaving a little bit today but I'm sure once the finger's been waggled at him we'll be back online Definitely. and ready to go on our day out with Thomas. As well as riding on this famous little steam engine there are also plenty of Thomas themed activities to try. At the event there's all sorts of things going on, so we go down to Walsford, there's base painting, uh, there's a traction engine down there, there's a uh, bus. Uh, up here there's a comedy show and a tent, um, there's all sorts of things going on around. There used to be a bouncy castle, and yeah there is, a bouncy castle, um, and you can travel up and down the line as well, so um, have a picnic, it's quite a good day out. We, we want lots of people to come and see we us. We do, especially yes. at the magic show. Uh, especially at the magic yes, show. Because yes, because it's a very average show and they have Always a good audience. Yes, we like a, we, we like we like an audience. That's what we're, we're, we, we do, do, don't we? We do. Yes. And we do, aren't we? We we, we, we try. Well, you are. The kids love it. Uh, they watch it on TV and on videos and uh, whatever media they can get hold of. Um, kids really love it, and uh, I dare to say the footplate crew quite like it as well. And it's time to settle the great debate. Is this man Sir Topham Hat or the Fat Controller? Well, my name is Sir Topham Hat, but I'm better known by my friends and others as the Fat Controller. And that's perfectly acceptable. And for your chance to see Thomas and his friends, they'll be on the railway until the 13th of August. Good day out, good value, and uh, when you get here, there's not too many things to buy when you arrive. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a lot of fun, and uh, if we make people happy, we're happy. This is Richard Stringer for That's TV.